Good afternoon. I'm Carolyn Mahoney, president here at Lincoln University, and I'm delighted to welcome you to today's edition of From the President's Desk. I'm also happy to remind you that this is the show where we take advantage of the opportunity to keep you up to date on events and happenings here at Lincoln University. Uh, often I have a guest, uh, and today I'm delighted to have our Vice President for Advancement, Mrs. Benicia Williams. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Dr. Mahoney. Why don't you begin by telling us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been here, and sort of what are the functions that report to you here at Lincoln University? Thank you, Dr. Mahoney. I'm very happy to do that today. I am Benicia Williams, as Dr. Mahoney said, and I serve the university as Vice President for Advancement. I am also responsible for, the, I'm Director of Alumni Affairs and Executive Director of the Foundation Board. And with that responsibility gives me a, a really good time with our alumni. I work with the, the volunteer boards for both of those, uh, those areas. And so today I'm here because of the Foundation Board. And um, I've worked with them for about three years now. And, and have enjoyed every moment of it. I, I've enjoyed some of those moments with you. We've <laughs> had the pleasure of traveling to interact first uh, uh, with the various alumni chapters throughout our great nation and, and their local settings. We think that's really very important and enjoyable. People have heard me say that one of the most important and enjoyable aspects of this position is interacting with alums. And it's more delightful even when we gather them in their local settings and you get a sense of that local flavor. Uh, but this today, as she has, uh, Dr. Mrs. Uh, Williams has said, she just got promoted to doctor. Uh, <laughs> Thank uh, you. <laughs> she certainly behaves as if she's as knowledgeable as any, any PhD we have, I have ever met. So I'm delighted to, to have her today uh, as we think about uh, the Foundation Board and those marvelous volunteers who dedicate themselves to the activity of fundraising for the Lincoln University campus. Um, they uh, um, do a marvelous job of garnering resources, of encouraging uh, support and making friends for the campus. Their main focus is to provide scholarships for our students so that they can enjoy uh, the kind of education that many of those alums who serve on the Foundation Board uh, enjoy it during their days here at Lincoln University. They consider it, and I concur with them readily, that it's a marvelous way for them to give back. You can't really ever pay uh, back the people who educated you, who contributed to your uh, uh, betterment, who influenced you in various ways various and I think positive ways to be all that you can be and to be leading happy and satisfying lives. And so the way that many of them choose to give back is by paying it forward, as trite and hackneyed a phrase as that is, it's very apt in this situation. Uh, and so they do give back and one of the main ways they do uh, give back is host a fundraiser each year. It's the main fundraiser for the campus and I've invited Mrs. Williams primarily today to talk about that. Thank you, Dr. Mahoney. And so this is the 10th annual President's Gala and it's sponsored by the Foundation Board. The, the Foundation gala event last year was able to fund scholarships for over 130 students at Lincoln University and, and that's a lot. That's so very important because in these economic times our students need all of the help that they can get because we certainly want them to be able to continue their education and those funds came to approximately $150,000 or more and so we're off again and off to the 10th annual President's Gala, and this, is, this will be the 10th year that we will have an opportunity to raise funds for our students who so, so much uh, are needed. Uh, this year, our theme is Blue Diamonds Forever, and I think that's just a fantastic theme. We've sent out the letters already, and we are getting uh, replies from our sponsors. They're coming in so fast that they're making my head swim, and I have to thank them so much for, for uh, responding so early this year. Um, I, I think that uh, we're, we're a week early, 
because I believe it's Easter that caused us to have this event March 31st. So the event is March 31st. It's a Saturday. It's at Capitol Plaza Hotel. And the auction begins at 5.30 and dinner at 7 p.m. We have awardees because this is an award, uh, an awardees uh, event as well. And so we like to recognize people that have done a lot for Lincoln University. And so Dr. Mahoney, I want to let you know who these awardees are. And maybe you can tell us a little bit about them because I know you know about all of the people in the community. <laughs> and so Professor Emeritus is going to Dr. Anthony Holland. Oh my. Yeah, the corporate award is going to Gina Volmert mm -hmm. and Go Partners. Trailblazer Award in uh, the private sector and business is going to Reed Millard and Hauser Millard Family Chapel. And our Trailblazer Public Sector Award is going to Senator Rita Heard Days. And she is also the president of the foundation. And so we're very excited about awarding all of these people who are so in need of some recognition this year. I think that's the life of what a, a star-studded cast of honorees for this, our 10th anniversary celebration on March 31st. Uh, March 30th or 31st? 31st. March 31st, I have it right. <laughs> uh, and I think our viewers would enjoy knowing more about each of these persons, and I'm delighted to talk about them. Tony Holland served at Lincoln University as a faculty member, department chair. Uh, he was also... Uh, had a distinguished uh, uh, tenure uh, award from the curators uh, as he served uh, in, in the last few years of, of his uh, service to Lincoln University. But he has been a marvelous, uh, I think, ambassador for the campus. Once he uh, uh, retired, even then he was the, uh, we held him uh, in, as the uh, grand marshal of the homecoming parade one year. But I think most people who know Dr. Holland recall that he has a wonderful grasp of the history of Lincoln University and was able to share that willingly in various settings, in informal, if you came to talk to him informally, certainly formally, he gave many, many presentations and talks. He wrote and published about the history of Lincoln University and is well regarded in that aspect. Uh, there's just not too much you can say about his influence. I was just having lunch with someone uh, in the community recently and they talked about the profound influence that Tony Holland had on them. And so it's kind of interesting and serendipitous that we should talk about him again today. Uh, I'll talk about Rita Hurd Days. Uh, she served as a senator. She's a of course, a very fine graduate of Lincoln University and served in the Missouri General Assembly for many years uh, and was a very, very proud and able representative. Her reputation was one that said she studied, did her homework, read everything that they were considering, and she was able to therefore be very, very uh, in, well informed as she went about uh, representing folks. And, and so I think it's appropriate that we should find a way to recognize her for her exemplary service uh, uh, to this great state of Missouri. I think I'll call on a uh, talk about the other two after we take a short break uh, and talk about uh, Gina Volmert and Reed Millard together and then separately uh, for reasons I will reveal when we come back. And so I hope you will come back and join us uh, after the break. Every child is curious. George, look what I found. <laughs> Turn their curiosity into a lifelong love of learning. That's a periscope. <laughs> it's one of the most important gifts you can share. <laughs> Create a curious reader. Oh, you want to build a castle like that one? <laughs> this is super bedtime reading. Share a book together today. Visit read.gov. And 30. Oh! Yo, hey, Allison. What's going on? Working on my free throws. Just sunk 30 straight. 30? That's not possible. <laughs> Maybe not possible for you, but I've been practicing. Step back and give me the rock. Okay. Mm hmm. Nice. One. 
two. Eleven. You know it's harder when people are watching. <laughs> hey, you know, 11's not that bad. All you need are a few pointers. Thank you. Are you a free throw expert? Well, no, not really, but I do know excellent teamwork when I see it. <laughs> so it's so much easier to get active and live healthier when your friends are there to motivate you with a little friendly competition. Now let's get this game started. Uh -huh. Oh, she's going for the hook shot. Hook shot. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. America. Let's get healthy together. Well, welcome back. I'm Carolyn Mahoney, president here at Lincoln University, and I'm joined today uh, on this show from the president's desk by the, our vice president for advancement, Mrs. Benicia Williams. Uh, we were speaking about the uh, president's annual gala. This will be our 10th anniversary uh, celebration. I have been here for seven years, and so this event predates me, but it has grown, I think, and evolved very well over the years. And I'm delighted that we've chosen a theme that recognizes the 10th anniversary. Uh, the theme is Blue Diamonds Forever. We hope that you can find a way to join us on March 31st for this event. Uh, it starts with a reception and a silent auction, and then we move into dinner, and then we have recognized uh, recognitions of certain people as we award them. Uh, and two of those persons I'd like to discuss with you right now. One is Gina Volmert, who is the president and CEO of GO Partners. It's a very nice company that um, handles medical records uh, and lots of electronic or technology related services for physicians in, in, and uh, has been in existence for some time. Uh, Gina Volmert grew up here in uh, Jefferson City. She says she has fond memories of her dad bringing her to Lincoln University football games and as a result of that and many other things she's a very very strong and proud supporter of Lincoln University although she's never been a student here. Uh, in a similar way Reed Millard is a stalwart of the community uh, as we all know uh, operating Millard family chapels built that from almost nothing uh, to a very very uh, uh, widely respected and well-regarded uh, business. And he, too, has been a big fan of Lincoln University for some time, uh, has been contributing in, in, in many ways to the program. But once he met Mike Jones, uh, he just, uh, I think, ramped up his efforts. And so uh, he is the one who recruited Gina Vollmert. They got together and discussed forming and did form a Blue Tiger quarterback club, a booster club that uh, has members, uh, other Lincoln University alums and other members in the mid-Missouri community. Uh, they've done a, a, a wonderful job of building and galvanizing community support for our athletic program. For example, yesterday we had the pleasure of uh, cutting the ribbon on our uh, weight room, and that weight room uh, uh, is just world class, uh, state of the art as we are now competing in the Mid-America Intercollegiate Athletic Association, the MIAA. And so we're delighted about all of the things that they have done. That weight room was constructed, completed in a little over a month's time and didn't require one penny from Lincoln University. They raised all of the funds uh, and, and provided all of the labor. But we're not talking about that. I don't know if you could tell we weren't talking about that. Uh, but that's part of the reason they will be recognized in their various categories. Uh, I don't want to run out of time before we talk about other aspects of the President's 10th Annual Gala. And so uh, we will be uh, once again recognizing Tony Holland, Gina Vollmert, Reed Millard, and Rita Days. Uh, really very, very, I think, stellar representatives. But there are other stellar people in the community who support this campus, and we'd like to talk about their support, if you will. Thank you, Dr. Mahoney. We have opportunities for sponsorship, and we are always so grateful to those individuals who step up to sponsor and be a part of the success of the gala. And this year, we have have many sponsors that I have not heard from yet, but I'm sure I will be. But for sure, I've already heard from Central Bank, who is our 
our platinum sponsor, Jefferson Bank, Hawthorne Bank, Jefferson City Medical Group, and the Missouri Mental Health. Thank you all for jumping out there and being the first on our list of, of sponsors. There's still opportunities for sponsorship, and I want to make our listeners aware of the ways that they can share in the success of this, this wonderful event. The Platinum uh, Corporate Sponsorship is a $10,000 sponsorship, and it, it, it allows you an opportunity to have a table for 10. You get uh, an ad in the souvenir book. You get an ad in the Alumni Line magazine that goes out to over 11,000 alumni. You, uh, you get uh, recognition at the gala, and also then there's the corporate. Uh, I'm sorry, the Gold Corporate Award, that's a $5,000 award, $5, award, and you get many of the same benefits, the table of 10, the ad, and the opportunity for alumni line. There is the silver, $2,500, and the bronze at 15, and both of those also get an opportunity to have a table of 10. There, there, is, a, there is also an opportunity to be in the souvenir book, we have full page ads at $500. There is a half page at $250. And then there is a quarter page ad at $175. And we would appreciate it if you would take out an ad or if you just want to join us. Just come out that night, purchase a ticket for $100, and know that it's tax deductible. All of these sponsorships are tax deductible. And so we hope that you will be able to join us in the sponsorship or just by coming out and having a good time. I think people do say that they have a wonderful time. And we're very, very proud of our sponsors, in particular those who have been with us for, for the entire duration, all of these years. Uh, and, and they are people who are well recognized and respected in the community. And so we're very proud that they lend their support to this, what we consider to be a worthwhile uh, activity. Uh, we'll remind them that they're supporting students and there's never been a better time. Of course, there's never been a bad time to support students, but our students do exemplary work. They're marvelous ambassadors for the campus and they juggle so many things uh, as they move through their undergraduate and graduate work that they, I have to admire them. There's not a day I can be lazy uh, because all I need to do is think about them and, and that inspires me to get back to work. Um, I also want to say a word about the souvenir book very quickly because I get a lot of comments about that. One wouldn't expect that, but people are very proud to be in that souvenir booklet, but they also, I also get really good comments about, oh, I didn't know this, or I didn't know that company, or I didn't realize this was going on. And so uh, it is widely read uh, uh, by many people in the community, and it does help market that company as much as it helps to support Lincoln University. Uh, and so I join um, my colleague here in encouraging you to come out because we do have a good time uh, at that gala. Uh, people always look so nice. Uh, it is black tie optional, so you don't have to wear a tuxedo. I know there are many men who don't like that. And I know, of course, there are men who do like to be uh, uh, dressed in a tuxedo, and either way is fine. Uh, there is no stigma attached to how you're dressed as long as you're dressed in a suit or, or, or better. Uh, and the women always look so very beautiful as they come out and enjoy that evening. And so I look forward to it every year, and certainly I'm looking forward to it this year uh, as, we, as we prepare for it. Are there any sort of other quick comments you'd like to make? Absolutely, Dr. Mahoney. <laughs> I wanted to mention the auction. You know, the oh, auction yes. is always a good time, and that starts at 5.30, and it's right before the dinner. But we have some lovely auction items and, and people that donate auction items. And so I want to thank those folks that, that have uh, given back by providing auction items. And Eris Cafe and Eris Pizza, there will be auction items there, Bridal Cave, Candlewood Suites, 
the Capitol Plaza Hotel, CenturyLink, Essex Gardner, who is a marvelous artist. I saw his artwork that came in early uh, this week, and I just told Constance Behrens I was going to be hard-pressed not to <laughs> buy it before it even got out there. And then, of course, Martin Litho and Panera Bread, and we'll be, we'll be able to talk about others soon. Wow, that's a real great list of folks who have come to the aid of of us do, for this auction. I'm looking forward to seeing what some of those items are. I, like you, like a preview look. <laughs> and, and so uh, and we get to look at them uh, as they are being assembled, as we are setting up the auditorium, the uh, uh, reception area there at Capitol Plaza. And so I think we are delighted that you have joined us today. And we hope that some of you will have the wherewithal uh, to make the decision and join us that night. It's shaping up to be a very, very delightful evening. We may have a couple of surprises for you since this is our 10th anniversary year. Uh, in any case, please do join us uh, and uh, we look forward to seeing you. And in fact, we thank you for being with us today. Uh, this has been a very, very great discussion. I always enjoy it. It's been especially enjoyable this afternoon. And I hope that I can see some of you as I'm out in the community and then see many of you uh, on March 31st at the President's 10th Annual Gala. Bye now.